what goes on in the ninth inning? Well, it's not going to be today, so we, we, it's not a topic that emotionally you can talk about after a, a, a game positively or negatively. So I, I appreciate the question. I know, um, I know it's a topic after a couple of tough days at work for Luke, but um, there'll be a time to talk about it. Now is not that time. Uh, saw Altuve on third with less than two outs in Korea. Did you feel like at some point this has to work? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, you know, you go through the part that part of the order. You know, I, I think this, the, the beginning of the inning shows exactly what you know what that what that section of our lineup can do. You know, when um, when they put in Madsen, you know, it's it's a it's an extreme time to bring your closer in on the road tie game uh, against the best part of your lineup. So um, I think that in itself shows exactly what the other side thinks about that part of the order. When, um, you know, when we get on, when we get the guys on base and, and, and we get enough guys in the middle of the order hitting the ball well, we're a really tough lineup to get through. Um, and it showed again today, you know, we, we struck quickly in the second, um, and that wasn't even in the Springer Altuve Correa segment. So um, it's good to get contributions like that. But when the lineup rolls around, um, I'm probably the most comfortable guy in the building because I, I, I love the at bats that, that, that the top of the order can put up. How big was that answer? Like right there after Colby used it up in the middle? Yeah, you know, we, we've, uh, you mean the three runs? I thought it was really big because, of the, you know, Colby leading off that inning with the opposite field double. Um, you know, obviously a homer's going to always put a little bit of energy in your, in your clubhouse and your dugout. The, the, the key there is to not panic, and I, and I think that shows some confidence that we've now gained over the last, you know, 30 to 45 days. To where we know we're never out of it. We have a chance to, um, you know, to to chip away at at, at any lead, uh, specifically any lead at the beginning of the game. You know, at the at the start of the year, um, we never had we had a lack of confidence, but we had a ton of games where we fell behind early, and it always felt like we were working uphill. And and now, um, our guys know uh, exactly what is at stake, and and they do a good job of competing the whole game. So you talk about the tough lineup and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, we, you know, we put up our best at bats, um, you know, when it matters. And I think we, I think we, we have a, uh, a way about ourselves to where, you know, we don't overswing in those moments. Now, sometimes we, you know, obviously they rolled through five or six strikeouts in a row, you know, with, those, with Doolittle and, um, and, and, and we can certainly have some empty at bats, but, but our guys, our guys do thrive in, in doing things. What I love about it is George comes up, hits opposite field, double. Uh, Altuve lays down a bunt. Correa doesn't try to do too much, just takes the ball the other way. Uh, and we walk out of here with a really team win. That's a manufactured run that, that, that we're not known for, but, but we have in our arsenal. We've talked about this before, but just as the innings are piling up on the bullpen as a whole, like at what point does this become? An issue where you really have to be careful how you're using guys. Yeah, no. Well, we 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 carry 13 pitchers for a reason, and and part of that is to to relieve some of the stress on the pen. Um, but you know what is that? Our ninth or tenth extra inning game. We've played 20 plus one run games. Um, it's going to come down to the bullpen, and and you know we try to keep these guys rested. We've rarely thrown guys three days in a row, um, and that's one of the one of the best parts of our pen is I can mix and match a little bit. But um, would I love to have a reset to where we can? Get a few days off. Yes, the schedule will be a little more, you know, uh, a little more favorable as far as days off go. Here in the next couple of weeks, we have two two off days in one week. We have another off day the following week. Um, I can't use the relievers in those days, so we'll 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 monitor it. And and I certainly don't love taxing the bullpen to this extent, but in these close games, the guys are stepping up and doing their job. How nice is it to see Gattis continue to thrive at the plate? Yeah, no, he's swinging the bat well. And when he gets hot, we've seen him carry us, you know, for an extended period of time. You know, he's very simple, simple approach, simple uh, mindset for him. And, um, you know, he looks very, very comfortable at the plate. You know, and I, I think his, uh, his ability to do damage, you know, brings a lot of confidence to us. He, he's a quick strike, he, quick strike guy. I mean, I don't think he's hit a triple yet. So I, he's still got a little bit of work to do. I guess just with the bullpen, how good a feeling is it to know that essentially whoever you're handing the ball to is going to give you a chance to. Yeah. They're going to put that zero up and give your offense a chance. No, I like our pen. You know, I, I like the versatility in our pen. We've got some length. Ken Giles throws two innings today. Uh, that's helpful. Michael Feliz is a, is a big weapon down there. Uh, even Feldman at the end is, 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 a, is a quality, uh, really could be a starter and should be a starter, but not, not on this team. And um, that type of versatility allows me to make a lot of decisions where I can extend the game further than maybe the other side. It was back to back multi-game for Rasmus. He's a kind of struggle. 
Yeah, he's getting the ball airborne a little bit more, but not underneath too far to where to where it's a simple pop up. You know, he he's he's shifted very often to the to the pull side. And anytime you try to yank the ball, the ball will you come over the ball, come on the air. But he's getting breaking balls and he's getting them airborne, uh, which is which is key. You know, obviously a couple hits the other way will do wonders for him. He he rarely uses the Crawford box or the or the scoreboard the way he did today. So I love the two doubles to the opposite way. Um, he's getting good pitches to hit. He's um, you know obviously he's one of our more more important hitters because he can split up these big right-handed hitters that are that are in our top five, and, and they've got to make a real decision whether to bring a lefty in with Gaddis behind him. How about Colby's throw and Altuve's tag on Lowry? Yeah, no, it's a good play. I mean, our outfield defense this this series, but mostly all year, uh, is elite as, as, as elite as they come. And and not to say you grow to expect it, because those are difficult plays, but you got to hit the ball out of the ballpark to get it past our guys. and and. Um, all three of them can really throw, and and Gomez obviously not playing today or yesterday, probably has the best arm of the group. So I, I think that that type of competitive advantage is really key. I think it's it's important. Colby's played a lot of games in left field in this ballpark. He knows the scoreboard, tries to cut the ball off. We got lucky with sort of the with the area in the cutout where it hit, um, and and we know we always have a chance.